This is a brief demonstration on the Registration tab. This information is most commonly used by the Crosslink Technical Support Team, so they can help you if the need arises. Most of this information will appear from entries made with the Installation Wizard. Starting from the Work in Progress screen, click Setup on the menu bar, select and click on Office Setup in the drop-down menu. The first tab is the Registration tab. Here you would input your user ID, name of company, phone, fax number, location, and email address. The drop-down for Transmitting Computer gives you three choices. Transmit for machines that will transmit directly to central site. Transfer for machines that will be used to transfer returns to the transmitting computer in the office. And feeder for machines transferring returns to their service bureaus. In this section, you can also choose to transfer incomplete returns, PDFs or completed returns, and transfer the record of the invoice payment by placing check marks in the appropriate boxes. You can select any or all of these options. Receipt numbers can be enabled by placing a check mark in this box and set to automatically assign by placing a check mark in this box. Crosslink gives you the ability to have two separate receipt ranges. If you leave these fields blank, Crosslink will start at receipt number one. Verification settings will allow you to set the error level at which you will not be able to transmit to central site. You can choose to display warnings or overrides as errors or not by checking or unchecking the appropriate boxes here. And if you click the appointment address button at the bottom of the screen, that will open up a new window asking you for your appointment address. This is the address that will be used for the appointment letters. For more information about appointment letters, please see the video library. When you're done with this tab, you can move either to the next tab, Electronic Filing, or click OK to return to the Work in Progress screen.